Hello, my drawing fans. You joined me for quite a long voiceover today because we did lots of travelling. But anyway, here is Coair, T Duck, and Puff, the uh, three birds, getting ready to come on our trip. And here is Maddie showing off her puff in socks. <laughs> She's definitely very happy to have received a new pair of socks, especially some that are so stylish. Um, I think here we are on our way to Gatwick. And here is Maddie styling out in Gatwick. Look at that. Oh my god. It's just like she's living in her own world. This was probably about 6.45 in the morning. <laughs> no, maybe 7.30. Um, but then anyway, I dumped her off at the Lego store for a bit while I went to go fill up a bottle. Uh, then we went to get some breakfast and I had some salmon sushi thing because I thought that would be kind of healthy. Then we found a new gang member in W.A. Smith. <laughs> so we bought him. <laughs> I, think, I think he's called Yuba. Yuba. Something like that. <laughs> Anyway, um, I will double check his name, <laughs> I promise, I'll put it in the description. Um, then we got on our Ryanair flight, even though I hate Ryanair, um, but <laughs> it's the only one, it's the only one that made sense. <laughs> and we made our way to Dublin. And here we are in Dublin, and here's some more proof, but here is, we were the final two people to get on this bus, the last That's two sorry, seats, so very exciting. Then, yes, here I am, but sadly we didn't get to sit next to each other, so, classic me shot, but, oh, what's that? Oh, it's Maddie. Oh, oh my god. Anyway, then we went on a little tour of some of the bits of Dublin. Um, here is Dublin Castle. You're too short to be annoying me, isn't it? But, kind of, from the boring side. And then we saw some guy who I think is a Viking. But Dublin used to be owned by the Vikings, um, which is quite exciting. And here is it from the cool side, the castly side. This is much more gangster, much more my thing. Anyway, then we went to go get a bubble tea, and yet again I've learned why do I cheat on mine bubble tea, the ultimate bubble tea stylish. shop. It's always disappointing. I love mine bubble tea. They have a new store opening near Putney Bridge thing. tube station. <laughs> so go down there. This is the spire, and this is the um, portal. And this is some people in New York on the other side of the portal, so it's a, like a TV link, or, you know, I don't know, online link that shows you what's happening in New York at the exact same time, so that's quite fun. You can interact with people. Anyway, then we met up with Chloe, got in her car, Maddie fell asleep in the back, <laughs> and we drove for, I don't know, like four hours of basically me and Chloe just talking, Maddie being asleep. <laughs> it was fine, good fun. And this is our... B and B, and it's got some swords, but I've learned from ghosts to be careful around those. I might get my head chopped off. Um, and this is our room, very nice. Chloe was underselling it. I think it's very, very like I don't know, not not even quaint. I think quaint is an understatement. We have two double beds, although I have to say we will be sharing a bed. Um, so, got a spare one for bags and stuff. Um, but yeah, nice view. There's some local um, mountain or hill that people climb out the front. But then we popped into the car to drive back into the centre of Westport, which is the town we're in. Um, this seems to be their town square. I think there might be another town square, but yeah. Um, we had some tasty Guinnesses. We had some very, very tasty food. We had some calamari. I had some calamari, and I had some like chicken with barbecue sauce and blue cheese dip and some chips. Real good, real good. Then Maddie got an ice cream, but I'm on a diet, so all I did was <laughs> eat a lot of her ice cream instead of getting my own. Then we went to another pub, and but Chloe was driving, so we didn't hang around too long. She only had one total beer. She had some 0% Guinness, apparently, and I tasted some, tasted exactly like normal Guinness. But then we drove back to our B&B, and uh, now we're going to go to bed, because <laughs> we're shattered. So I hope you all had a good day. And adios!